Good morning YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost. We have reached number 30 on the cult movie poster and today I'm taking a look at a film from the year 2000. It's a black comedy slasher directed by Mary Harron and set in the 80s, in fact 1987 in New York. Following the life of a psychotic investment banker, it is of course American Psycho. Let's pop this in the player and check it out. So the film stars Christian Bale as Patrick Bateman, William Defoe as Detective Donald Kimball, Jared Leto as Paul Allen, Josh Lucas as Craig McDermott, Samantha Mathis as Courtney Rowlinson, Carla Seymour as Christie, and Reese Witherspoon as Evelyn Williams. So it's a good cast. Patrick Bateman is an investment banker. Him and his associates are in a restaurant talking about nothing in particular. Then they all move on to a club where Patrick says he's going to kill someone in there, but nobody hears. It then cuts to him in his apartment getting ready for the day. And he's given this narration about his morning exercise routine and the products he uses on his body. Then it cuts to him at work and he's telling his secretary to dress it in a more feminine way to wear heels instead of what she's chosen. Now that evening he takes his fiance, played by Reese Witherspoon, out for dinner but suspects she's having an affair. He's narrating the whole thing and he's fine with it because he, he's having an affair too. Then later at a meeting he shows his business colleagues his business card and they all have better ones. And he becomes so enraged, especially by Paul Allen's card. Later that evening he approaches a homeless man, says he's going to help him and starts belittling him, stabs him multiple times and kicks his dog to death. So he's not a pleasant guy at all. Then... At a Christmas party, Paul Allen mistakes Patrick for someone else, but Patrick doesn't correct him. Instead, he arranges to meet him for lunch the next day. Now, during that lunch, Paul, still thinking it's not Bateman, starts slagging Bateman off to him. And Bateman gets him drunk and invites him back to his apartment. And whilst there, he puts on some music, I think it's uh, Hip to Be a Square, and then takes him out with an axe. He disposes of the body and goes to Paul's apartment and leaves a voice message saying that Paul is going on a trip to London. He packs one of his suitcases and makes him disappear. Short while later, a detective shows up at Bateman's office to interview Patrick about the disappearance of Paul Allen. That same evening, Patrick goes in his limo and picks up a prostitute called Christy, and later another one he phones up called Sabrina. He takes them back to his apartment where they have sex. And all that time, Patrick is washing himself in the mirror with admiration. We learn later that he was extremely rough with them. Later again, one of his colleagues shows up and shows him his business card, which is far more superior to Patrick's. So Patrick follows him to the restroom with the intention of murdering. He's got his hands round his neck, but Lewis, his colleague, thinks that Patrick's actually coming onto him and kisses his hand. Now this throws Patrick and he leaves the restroom in disgust. The following day, he meets up again with the detective, played by William Defoe, and he tells Patrick that Paul was actually seen in London, and he believes that the investigation will stop. Now, Patrick starts to doubt himself whether he actually killed him or not. Later, he visits Christy, the prostitute from earlier, and hires her again. This time, he invites an acquaintance called Elizabeth along too, and this time, they go to Paul Allen's apartment for sex. Now, Patrick kills Elizabeth during the evening by stabbing her, and Christy witnesses the whole thing and tries to escape. And that is where I'll leave it. So did I like American Psycho? Yes, I did. And I've got to say, this was a first time watch. Nothing like I was expecting at all. Now, despite his psychotic behaviour, Patrick Bateman is a very likeable character. His friends, however, are not. They're vain and just dislikable in general. They could easily have been as bad as he was. I thought they captured the 80s in this film really well and although it's an 18 a surprisingly little gore it's mostly suggested more likely for the sexual content in this and you have to consider that he didn't actually commit the crimes at all well maybe it's just all in his head anyway some of the characters were underused but i would say this was a christian bell movie and he shone in every single scene with his unraveling mind i would give this film a solid eight out of ten definitely a must-have in any collection so that is it. Do you agree with my score or not? Leave a comment down below. 
and I will get back to you, I promise. Give the video a thumbs up, it really does help the channel, and subscribe if you haven't, it's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.